This is Marketing Jam, a show featuring the brightest minds in marketing. Brought to you by Canada Post. Head to canadapost.ca forward slash insight podcast for ideas to add value to your marketing. All right, welcome to another episode of Marketing Jam. I am so excited for today. Uh, again, huge thank you to Canada Post and their beautiful, inspiring educational insight magazine for allowing us to do this show. Uh, today is a special show where we're going to talk about a product that has come right out of Canada and doing some amazing marketing uh, campaigns and some marketing work. Uh, and you may even be wearing one at the moment while you're listening to this show. So, uh, Alexander, why don't you start us off? When did you start Solios? And uh, and tell me what's unique about this uh, company as a watch brand. Uh, so basically, we started Solios uh, in 2018. Uh, we launched a Kickstarter campaign and officially launched the company in 2019 in April. And our watches are the finest solar powered and sustainable watches. Uh, so that's that's the main special part about our watches. It's not just a traditional watch, but we really try to make it as sustainable as possible with a solar technology. That's amazing. So uh, your buyers are typically those that are maybe buying Tom shoes or Seven Lee shirts or you know a ten tree type of uh, you know apparel because they want to yeah. give back while purchasing something that that works and is functional. That's exactly it. Our buyers are typically people who want to send a clear message. They want to wear a symbol. They want to show people their values, their interests, and they want to show people that they care. And that's exactly what they're doing with their watches as well. That's amazing. And is there any other watches on the market that are doing that? Like, you know, like I don't know of many other shirts besides Tentry or, you know, or, uh, you know, shoes like Tom shoes that are, you know, buy one, give yeah. one type of thing. So. Uh, I mean, there are some. Uh, there are a lot of of design watches. That's mm -hmm. the main. That's the main reason why people would create a watch usually to have like a nice design. So that's for sure. There are a few sustainable watches. There are a few solar powered watches. But uh, we are the only ones that I found that combine the solar technology, the design, and the sustainability in one product. That's amazing. So when you talk about all this, uh, we've had some folks on the show before from. Uh, you know, an organization, they're, they're, they're members of this organization called B Corporation. Have you looked mm -hmm. much into the B Corp? And what are your thoughts on the whole B Corp, you know, getting it, get the little symbol you can throw on your stuff? Yeah, actually, for, for us, that's that's extremely important. And it was from day one. Mm -hmm. And we're really excited to, uh, to announce that uh, as of this week, we're going to apply officially to have our B Corp certification. So we're hoping that uh, maybe in a month from now, we're going to be able to show that that stem to all our buyers and, and our audience. Uh, but for us, it is extremely important. Uh, we built this company uh, to show people that it was possible to have uh, the sustainability aspect, the ethical aspect, and, and all the profitability all in one product in one company. And that, that was the main, the main mission of our company. So we're really, really excited to, uh, to be able to show it soon to our audience. Well, have you started your uh, filling in the, the the questionnaire yet? Have you gone through the process yeah. yet online? Okay. Every everything it's ninety nine percent done. Yeah. Uh, we need to correct a few things in our because we need to create a lot of documentation. All the things that were in our heads, I mean, you got to put that on paper to show them that that it's real. It's not you're not just saying this for for to have the stamp. Uh, but yeah, we're ninety nine percent done. So that's why we're applying this week. I feel like those that live out the values of B Corp are, are awesome, mm -hmm. but I feel like B Corp forces you to put into writing, to document all of those things, I guess, like you said, are in your head or in your heart. Yeah, exactly. And you need to show it. And, and it, it's really useful because you can, you can then, uh, when you're hiring people, you can show them your values. You can show them the way to improve yourself as a person and as a business. When you're working with different companies, like uh, you, Jilly, are also you're also B Corp. So that's that was really important for us when we started collaborating. We wanted to choose a partner that was also certified B Corp. So mm -hmm. for for the people who are going to join our team, or for the people that we're going to be working with, uh, this is extremely important. And the best part for me is it also shows. Uh, initiatives that you can take in the future. So we we knew how to improve our business from the start, but but from now on, all the requirements of B Corp we're gonna we're gonna be able to apply them in the future. So we know exactly what to improve in the next year or so. It's amazing. And then when you approach a group like Tentry, for example, who's also a B Corp, they yeah. know that you have the legal requirements 
not just it's not just some fancy marketing kind of shirt or tattoo you threw on the the front end exactly because it's so easy nowadays to just throw some some uh, some buzzwords and some greenwashing as we call yeah, it yeah. uh to just show people that okay you care for the environment when in fact it's not really true you're just using some buzzwords with this certification you can prove that you're making real efforts and that your 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 mission your company mission is really based on ethical and sustainable values and yeah. so when you try to work with other companies that are b corp they believe you because they know what's the process so tell me about um, the big trend. Like, what was it? Daniel Wellington. Were they the first to kind of be that kind of like nice, slick looking watch? Yeah. Okay. Actually, they really inspired us in terms of design. They really, uh, they they really innovated in in how they created this minimalist, very classic, timeless design. And with the Nato strap, you know, the fabric strap that became so popular that now all the high luxury brands are using, like Rolex or Tudor. They really launched this new trend or relaunch this trend uh, maybe 10 years ago and that's what really inspired us in terms of design but now we knew what we could improve on this and it was not on design we could really improve on all the other aspects the production processes mm -hmm. the material use how we recycle our, our products or our materials what's the message that we send to people is it only style or it's style with sustainability mm -hmm. so we just took what we loved from there from them and then we started improving in what we think is extremely important it's almost like uh whatever what's that australian boot called the uh uh the albert's oh no what is it Wait, i hear i'm actually funny i just realized i'm wearing oh, no. um no, that's the the oh yeah exactly it was almost like there was this uh, almost a uniform for university students were like wearing a pair of bloodstones having a daniel wellington watch like there was like this kind of Things you needed to check, like a ten tree shirt. Yeah, I, I feel like, uh, but but with it, is it was it just the look, or was it just the timing, or what do you think allows these brands like Blundstones, who is an Australian work boot, to just infiltrate the market? I think um, I I know the the story of Daniel Wellington a little better, so maybe it's going to be uh, more accurate if I I speak here yeah. for for their success. I think design was extremely important, but also the time, like when they launched uh, Instagram and all social media was just rising so fast and they just, they, they were able to really, uh, to really get into that new influence market, into yeah. that new marketing, uh, those marketing strategies. And I think that the timing was perfect, the design was perfect for what people were asking. And so combine those two together and then creates a success story uh, really, really fast. It's almost like uh, the Sevenly story, talking to the founder of that, which was every week they come up with a new shirt design, $7 from that shirt would go to a charity. He uh, attributes all of his success to organic Facebook. And when Facebook yeah. changed their algorithm, he said their company went sideways. He has since, uh, and then he got pushed out of the company, the founder. And, and funny enough, I saw them pop up again because the fine folks at Some Good News, John Krasinski's show, chose to do their swag through Sevenly, which I, I, I didn't know they still existed, but <laughs> it's wild that like a, a social tool can really launch a company, it could be your best friend, or, or in some cases your worst enemy. Completely, completely, and for us it's a big challenge because <clears throat> we know you, we have to use it, but we have to use it in a completely different way as, as these companies used to. Nowadays the organic is, is a lot of marketers say organic is dead. So you need to <clears throat> you need to do stunts, you need to do PR, mm -hmm. you need to do organic, of course, because people need to see something when they're looking at your profile. You need to do advertisement, you need to do all these things plus the product, but only organic is dead. So you need to use it as a tool, but you need to understand that you're not going to be able to recreate exactly what these companies did so uh, that was so amazing a couple of years ago. Wow. So in a sense, if you are um, you know, big about the environment, you want to wear a nice looking watch that's on trend, Solios kind of covers those two things. It gives that message as well at the same time. People know that you're, you know, sustainable and, and you know, it's powered by the sun. Act, uh, yeah, that's that's exactly it. Uh, for us, that's the main reason why we decided to create a watch as a first uh, as a first product. We don't see our company as only a watch company. We see our company as a sustainable fashion accessory company. Nice. But we started with a watch yeah. because a watch is truly a symbol. People don't wear a watch because they absolutely need their time, the time on their wrist. Yeah. Let's, let's be let's be honest. Why people are gonna are gonna spend tens of exactly? We all have a we all all have a smartphone now. 
But yeah. why people keep spending tens of thousands of dollars on Rolexes or, or expensive watches? Not because the time is extremely accurate, because they want to show uh, financial success or just success in general. And we want to have a message that is just as clear before responsible consumption and for improving improvement, self-improvement. And then what's his name? The Robert uh, guy from the Down Brown books. He, uh, the, you know, the, the cryptologist, he always wears a Mickey Mouse watch, right? To, to show that he doesn't take yeah. himself too seriously. Exactly. So yeah. he's sending a message. It's a clear message about what, what his values, his personality is. Yeah. So kind of watch brands. Father's Day is coming up. So um, yeah. if I was uh, someone listening to the show and I wanted to get my dad something and, and one of your watches, what's the timeline like? How does the watch give me kind of behind the scenes? If I order something like two weeks, one week before Father's Day, what's the cutoff date that I can put an order in and get it? And and what's the experience going to be like for my dad? Oh, I mean, uh, it's going to take two open days, two business days before you have your watch for all people in Canada, for people international. Uh, so United States or any other country is going to be between three to five business days. I recommend people to add an, an additional 24 to 48 hours because of the current situation, because yeah. of the crisis that we're living yeah. in right now. But uh, usually right now, I say 80% of, uh, of our buyers receive their watches uh, between two to four business days in yeah. Canada and outside of Canada. And we're also offering people to have a personalized message. Uh, so if you want to send a message that's going to be included in the box to your dad, yeah. uh, that's something... Uh, we're going to send you a, an email and you can just write up, uh, write the message. We're going to print it for you with your signature and everything. Uh, so it's really personalized. And we're hoping we're, we're working hard on this, but we're hoping that we're going to be able to engrave the back of, your, of the watch in the next two to three weeks. Okay. As soon as it's live, we're going to put it on our website. We're going to put it on, on social media, but we're working hard to make it happen uh, before Father's Day. So I could, in a sense, if I bought one for like my dad and my two brothers who are awesome dads, um, yeah. I give it a week. I got I should order it within a week and potentially oh. you could engrave on it. But at the very least, you could put a note in there. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. Within a week, for sure, even if there are delays with uh, Canada Post or, or DHL or any shipping company, uh, you're going to receive it in a week. So give me like the unboxing experience. What, what's that like? Like describe that for me. It's great because those that are, um, we, we don't have one to show, but, but those that are listening on audio, describe what it's like. Like I, I, we all know what it's like to open up a brand new MacBook, right, an <laughs> Apple product. Um, yeah. What's it like when you get a, a Solios watch? The, the unboxing experience is so important for the feeling yeah. of the customer, but also for uh, to show your values. That's the first time that you're going to show what you're offering to the person. So you're going to receive it in a white box that is completely made of 100% recycled and recyclable materials. And we're extremely proud of this because a lot of packaging, they have this soft touch. You know this Apple feeling when yeah. you unbox yeah. your iPhone? Yeah. The, this is a plastic protection yeah. that it makes the packaging unrecyclable. Yes. And we, we decided to remove all of this to keep it 100% recyclable. Um, and when you're going to receive it, you're always going to have this message to tell what's the mission of Solios, why mm. we're doing this with the watch exposed. And I can show the watch, actually. So yeah. it's basically going to be it's basically going to be exposed like this so that the person can really see exactly like what it is at yeah. first so not around a cushion but really like like uh, like this in a packaging and uh and behind the packaging you're also going to see our three main pillars and an explanation on why we did that so uh the design the solar technology and the sustainability so the main the main parts of it mm -hmm. um and the last thing is the booklet in the booklet we're going to show exactly what's the added value of our watch why we created this, what's the, the, the manufacturing process. We want to be as transparent as possible to make you feel good about your yeah. last purchase. We want you to know that you made the right choice by buying a Solius. So here's a question. Watches are very personal. And so do, uh, it'd be interesting. Do you have a section on your site? I haven't seen this yet where I can think of my dad and I can put in like the age range, the type of like person he is, the lifestyle, the clothes he wears, and then you tell me which style of Solius to get? This is actually coming. We're working on it right okay. now. Yeah, so this is a great idea, actually, because we know that people want not just a personalized object, but they want a personalized experience. They, yeah. want, to, they want you to offer what's unique about them. And so this is we're working extremely hard on our website right now to make it happen as soon as possible. Yeah. Uh, but 
for now, we're the, we're the automatic system. Yeah. So people contact us all the time. We ask a lot of questions. We recommend what's going to be the favorite for them, the different sizes, the different colors, yeah. depending on the other accessories that a person is wearing. So we're the style guide of Solios for now. And eventually it's going to be all automation. So people can really get it like in an instant. A lot of people are talking about e-commerce right now. What software do you use? Are you is it Shopify Run? Is it WooCommerce or Magento? What do you run? It's uh, we're in the middle of a process of changing. So basically, we're in Shopify, and it yeah. is an amazing tool. For yeah. uh, I have nothing to complain about. It's yeah. easy to use. Yeah. The only problem. The only problem is. Um, <clears throat> We love to go out of a template. We love to do yeah. things like other people don't want to yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and every time you try to go out of, of the templates in Shopify, it takes more time. It's more difficult. Yeah. So we're actually changing everything to go on WooCommerce and WordPress mm -hmm. to be more flexible in terms yeah. of when we're gonna where when we we're gonna want to uh, to have this this style guide where people can yeah. have a recommendation yeah. is gonna be much easier to create this. Uh, on WordPress and WooCommerce yeah. than on Shopify. So that's why we're changing right now. Yeah, and huge thank you and shout out to Shopify, those that are listening right now from Shopify. But yeah, Vancouver Candle Co., one of our other clients, uh, is again, is on a custom built Shopify and it's like wrestling all the time, trying to do any customizations. Yeah. But, if, but if you're good with like systems and, and kind of form, it's perfect. But again, it, it is a great tool. It is a great tool. We loved it so far. We just have different needs for now. That's it. No, that's great. And so tell me about the. And this is kind of like the big million dollar question in e-commerce is what's it like on the fulfillment side for you? What's how is the transition? How is that transaction? And what's the stress of that like when you get some big orders and Father's Day coming up? Uh, it's, it's a lot of work because we all do it by ourselves uh, in Montreal in our shop because the final part of the assembling process is made in Montreal in our office. Yeah. Uh, so so it's it's a lot of work. And when we go into periods like Father's Day, Mother's Day or, or, or Christmas is yeah. the best one, but the worst one for operations. It's crazy. We need to work until 2 a.m. every day because we need to fulfill all of this. But we like doing it because we know that we're going to be able to to have a personalized experience. We we want to control it. We want to see what people are asking. And every time people are, are going to buy it in different time zones, we're going to change the time so they oh, can wow. receive it at the right at the right time. That's a like very that's that's nothing, but it makes a difference for people. So that's why we still want to do it, even though it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Oh man. So is it a big way? So the order comes in, you print it off, you, you, you then start, you pick and pack it and then ship it off with good old Canada post or, or do you use different shipping depending on the. Uh, for everything in Canada, we use Canada post. It's, it's great. It's fast. It's reliable. It's, it's, it's affordable. So we all do it with Canada post in Canada for international. We go with DHL right now, uh, but we're working on improving depending on a different country, different, uh, shipping companies are going to be better in a certain market or another. So we're working on the operations. But yeah, we're we're managing all of this internally in our little warehouse where it's right next to our office. So we yeah. just left, have a big room to to process all of this. It's uh, it's becoming packed. Like we cannot even move yeah. in our in our uh, in our room right now. But it's okay for now. So uh, but yeah, we're doing we're doing it all by ourselves. Uh, uh, all the time. So, uh, but it's it's great. We, we can see the progress physically. Like you can mm -hmm. actually see when things are working. You yeah. see more boxes, more yeah. watches, more straps everywhere. So it's a good feeling at the same time. That's awesome. And tell me about Canapos. What it was like to set up with them, and what's the process for maybe someone who's doing e-commerce right now and is intimidated or, or or confused about the fulfillment side. What's that like? Uh, to be honest, it's really easy. You just you just uh, call them if you want to have a, a personalized support, or you can just register online. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna enter your your company details, your address, enter your credit card, yeah. and then you start shipping. And uh, if you're using uh, Shopify as we're doing it right now, there is there is an implementation in Shopify, so you don't have to do anything. You just click on send. It yeah. pays directly to it charges you on your credit card and that's it. It's done. So and it prints a it, label that you stick on the package and then you just drop yeah. it off a little red box or do you take it somewhere exactly. else or do they pick up? Oh, you can you 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 can you can plan a pickup. Uh, yeah. If you don't want to plan a pickup, you can just put in there in the red box. Uh, they will take care of it two times a day, like in the morning and then at five o'clock, I think, yeah. uh, in the afternoon. So. It's so simple. We used to do. We used to go to the post uh, post office. Uh, we don't even do it anymore because we don't need to. We just like put it as soon as it's ready. We just put it in the box and that's it. 
Wow. So tell me about this. Help me understand when is like trend wise, when is it a good time to give someone a watch? Like what are the, you always hear about like, oh, you get a gold watch on your retirement, but what are some other kind of like touch points in life that a watch seems uh, fitting? Uh, I think, um, I think like when people graduate from, from college, I think that can be a really, really nice gift that you can make to yourself or that can, someone can, can make you, uh, it, it really represents uh, a time in your in your life because you're gonna wear it. You're always gonna see it. Like yeah. you're gonna change your shirt every day. You're gonna change your your pants every day. Uh, but hopefully you're not gonna change your watch every day because otherwise yeah. it would be really expensive. So yeah. it really represents something that you're gonna carry every day of your life. So after graduating, when you change your job, when you when you when you make like a, a big project, okay. or when you're trying to to I don't know to change your wardrobe to to change your style for the summer uh, that's that's a big season for us when people see the sun coming out and it's a solar powered watch so people associate it with sun so when we're getting into summer people realize okay I need something I'm not gonna wear long sleeves anymore so I need to show what like I need to be wearing something so getting into summer is a big period for us as well and all the gifting uh, gifting periods are really big as well. Uh, except for um, except for Black Friday, because we're trying not to get into that holiday. We're trying mm -hmm. to get as 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 far as possible uh, because it represents something that we don't want to represent as a brand. But yeah. for all the other holidays, uh, it's obviously a very very big moment. Yeah, I love uh, Patagonia mm -hmm. did a campaign on a Black Friday where they actually said, yeah. "Don't buy our coats." Like, yeah. don't buy anything. It was else. amazing. Yeah, because it's like our our coats last, so you don't need to replace it all the time. So don't buy anything this Black Friday. You know. <laughs> It's brilliant. Yeah, exactly, and and we really got inspired by Patagonia uh, for this uh, for this uh, marketing campaign. But for everything that they're doing, they're so transparent. They're really trying to encourage you to do the right thing, to purchase the right thing, and to think before buying. And that's exactly what we want to do. Like that's why we decided to go with interchangeable uh, straps because you don't need three straps, even though you have different styles. You need uh, you don't need two, three watches. I mean, uh, because you have different styles, you just need one watch. And if you want to change, buy different straps. So we don't want people to overconsume with our products. We want people to think about it and buy it when they think they're ready and that they're going to keep it for a long time. Awesome. What about those people who feel like, oh man, I'm in a pretty like rainy, dark place. I, you know, I live in a basement suite. I'm working all day at my agency or at my brand. I don't think it's going to get enough sun. How, how much sun do they need exposure to and, and how long you know, no. does it last? Yeah, and that, that's a really good question. You don't need a lot of sun because we're still living in Canada. I mean, during winter, you don't have a lot of sun. So, um, But you only need two hours of exposure to sunlight and it's going to last for six months. Oh, and wow. you'll be yeah six months so you can you can stay in your room for six months you, you can you can forget about your watch for six months and then and pick it up again and wear it and it's going to be fully functional uh and it also charges with artificial light so even though you're sitting in your office and you just have your office lights mm -hmm. there's no problem it's going to keep charging it's not going to be as fast as with the sun but with a couple minutes you're going to be okay for a week so uh yeah there's no problem with with uh, the the battery and then the, the recharging capacity what are you most excited about uh, marketing wise in this next season coming up what are you kind of like man i'm so excited to see if this works or, or, or see this for my brand or what's revenue up right uh, um, I think video, creating video, because you can really tell a story with videos. Um, like our watch, when you just look at it like this, yeah. You, yeah. You, you're not going to see that it's sustainable or it's no. solar powered. Yeah. Yeah. So our message is extremely important. Our story is extremely important. And with, with uh, public relations, we can send this message. And with videos, we can send this message. So we're really, really excited to start producing with uh, local partners that we love that are working, doing an amazing job. And we haven't done it so far um, because we like we like things that are extremely good. We have excellence as a pillar for a company. So we didn't want to do like self-recording yeah. videos, even though we know that it works. We, we, yeah. we see it every day on social media. It works. But for us, that's not the image that we want to send. And yeah. so we're starting to produce uh, our own videos like right now uh, next week. Uh, and we're really excited to be able to send a message with images, with with music, with 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 the script, with uh, everything that comes with the video. That's amazing. So where can people find you online if they're interested in learning more? 
Very simple, uh, right? Solios and Google, you're going to see our website is going to be at the top, but our website is solioswatches.com. Yeah. Uh, all our watches are there. You're going to see uh, everything is in, uh, we have everything in stock right now, but if there is ever something that is out of stock, you're going to see it directly on the website. And other than that, we, al- we have a couple, um, we have a couple retailers. We have Simons in Quebec yeah. uh, that is uh, representing us. Uh, we have a small uh, luxury boutique in Montreal that is called uh, Tuzzy as well. And we are getting on in different online uh, online retailers as well. Uh, we have one in UK that is called that is called Immaculate Vegan. Um, so they're promoting uh, obviously vegan uh, products, uh, any any uh, fashion accessory. And we're working hard to get into different different shops. We wanted to go into a retailer in uh, in uh, British Columbia right now, but with the crisis, uh, uh, unfortunately, it wasn't possible. But we're going to do it this year for sure. Awesome. It's really great having you on the show. Really awesome to learn more about e-commerce, the watch industry, trends, what's happening. So thank you so much for uh, welcoming us into your cabin here in Quebec and uh, (laughs) sharing with us great ideas. Thank you for having me. It was really nice uh, chatting with you today. Uh, And I'm I'm really excited to be part of this uh, this podcast and, and working with you. Awesome. Thanks everyone for joining us this week on Marketing Jam. And we'll see you next week on The Jam.